Hey guys, for this let you know that we have some very interesting rumors here and this time we're going to talk a little bit about Sony's CEO so he's called Howard Stringer but basically he already had a little event and basically on that event he talked about the little image sensors that Sony is making in the new Xperia Arc and the Xperia Neo and they said that these new camera image sensors that they had a little facility there in Sendai in Japan and basically that that place was affected by the tsunami and earthquake and basically what he he said something very interesting after that and that was that it, this would definitely affect getting the image sensor to companies like Apple that they would be delayed so it is kind of funny that he said that because right now the current iPhones they don't have like a Sony image sensor they use the Omnivision at least in the iPhone 4 so first he said that this would affect the iPhones and then he, he like almost changed his mind it seems like according to this text when he said uh, go to Apple for their iPhones or iPads it, it's it's kind of funny so if Apple if they are going to dump the current omnivision image sensor that they use in the iPhone, iPhone 4 the 4 5 megapixel image sensor yeah and then just bump up to 8 megapixel um, they may have been may, they may going to take this Sony's XMR-R camera sensor that Sony currently is using in the Ericsson Xperia Arc and also in the Xperia Neo I, I think this is very interesting I mean uh, it, you know, we heard first of all this Japan tsunami, and then we heard, you know, just a couple of weeks later, this that the iPhone was delayed, or actually the iPhones haven't been delayed because they haven't been officially announced, but we we can say that they have delayed it, you know, because on this little flyer that they sent out Apple, they only, you know, they were only writing and we heard sources that we wouldn't see like any iPhone five on this little WWDC 2010 that it would be all about the Mac OS 10.7 line and the future iOS also in other words the iOS 5 so I think this is the reason why they are delaying the iPhones because you know they, they have delaying it earlier years and I mean this time it was a tsunami and I think that was the thing that affected that yeah, the thing. Also, we already have heard these rumors in April 2010 when the street they reported that the uh, iPhone 4 first that, that that would have a 5 megapixel image sensor, and then they also said that 5th generation of iPhone would have an 8 megapixel camera from Sony. Remember, the iPhone 4 doesn't have a image sensor from Sony. So why would Sony say that their image sensors would go to iPhones and iPads? You know, it's it's kind of hilarious. So yeah, I'm sorry, Sony CEO. You probably said a little too much there, but hey, we like it because I love this. Because if we're going to see iPhones with eight megapixel camera, that's going to be sweet. Because I mean, that that the eight megapixel that is what like the top and the best Android phones right now is having. And I mean, if Apple wanna be in the game, if they wanna compete, they need to like match up with the specs as they did with the iPad 2 when they put in a dual core and could match up with other tablets like the Motorola Zoom so this is something that they really have to do because Android is really getting good right now many Android phone comes with some insane specs and obviously Apple they want to be in the game and then when this tsunami earthquake and stuff like that happened then they obviously or me have seen that oh my god we may not be able to deliver the image sensors or Sony said that and then Apple's like freaking out and then they like oh my god we need to make an iPhone 4 in not this summer yeah but I think it's hilarious and I think it's awesome because it's it's 8 megapixel guys 8 megapixel see you.